Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel 2016 to show you how to move your data and how to format and rotate your text. So moving your data is something that a lot of people do by mistake in Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to show you the different ways that uh, you can move your data so that you're not accidentally moving it all over your page. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on this bit of data right here along the left side. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this data here, okay? And so we can see as I highlight my data that basically this green border appears around it. So this green border, you can pretty much hover over this. And when you hover over it, you see that the white plus sign turns to a black four directional arrow sign. And so uh, whenever I have this four directional arrows, I can click and move whatever I have selected. So in this case, the eight cells or 10 cells that I have selected here, I can move these to a different area. So let's say I do want to move these cells. All I would have to do is make sure that I see this cursor right here, and then I would click and I would drag. Now notice that as I move these cells around to different places, uh, the screen actually shows me what cells they're going to be pasted on. So right here, I'm gonna move them to this area right here, D4 to E8. And so when I do that, we notice that it uh, looks like we see the number symbol here, meaning that the cell basically is not big enough to uh, fit what we need uh, or what is inside of that cell to that area. So we moved it to that range. Now I'm going to uh, go to the Home tab, the styles group and I'm just going to apply a different style to this and so that way we can kind of see it better it brings the viewers attention to that area and so we see that once I apply the style now I can actually read the numbers but I'm also going to do an auto fit between these two so I'm going to highlight D and E and then I'm going to go in between the two columns and double click which will auto fit that uh, set of cells so or that set set of columns rather and so D and E are now auto fit and everything fits inside the area so that's looking good now I'm going to show you how to rotate your text so this is something that could be very useful in Microsoft Excel and so I'm going to show uh, this text right here and I want the reader to whoever's reading this spreadsheet to be able to read this text very easily so I just go ahead and type in statistics. And so whenever I rotate text, if I were to rotate it, I want to make sure that I'm merging the cells and I'm bringing the viewer's attention to that. So I'm going to designate a specific area to uh, merge these cells and to uh, highlight this text rather. And so I'm going to highlight these five cells here. Then this range will now be the range that my statistics uh, text will uh, appear. And so first thing I have to get to is my merge cells dialog box. So that's in the home tab, the alignment group. And then I click on this little button right here for alignment settings. Okay. So go ahead. And when you click that, it's going to open up this format cells dialog box. All right. So in here, this is where I'm going to actually uh, merge my cells right there. And so I just click on merge cells. And so that means instead of having five cells out here, I'm just going to have one now. And so in here is a place where we could actually change the orientation of the text as well by clicking and dragging up here or uh, by typing in the amount of degrees there. And you notice as I type in 25, the text now appears at a 25 degree angle. If you type in negative 25, it'll appear at a downward angle. So there we go. So we could change the alignment in here. We could go in here and change the font or, uh, you know, the settings on it. So if I want the reader to see this, I'm probably going to make it bold and maybe a few sizes larger. Let's say size 14. Okay, so I click 14 right there. And I also, let's as long as we're here, we'll change the color. So I'll just choose this one right here, blue, gray, text two. Okay, and so now when I do that, I click OK. And we see, there we go, it looks pretty good. But the problem is it looks down and off to the side. So the last thing I'm gonna do here is show you how to actually move the text within this area, uh, which is our merged cell area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Home tab, Alignment group, and I'm gonna just uh, go middle align right here to move it up to the middle. Remember these alignment tools are for vertical moving. If I click up here, it goes to top, middle, and bottom, right? And then I see along the left, right, or left, center, and right align right there. 
And so I'm going to choose right line. That way it's lined up nice and uh, close to the actual data that it's trying to highlight. So I hope that this video helps you uh, merge your text and really bring the reader's attention to your Excel spreadsheets and allow you to work with, um, you know, the the rotation of the text without uh, compromising on any space. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a different video on Microsoft Excel, I recommend looking at the playlist. And I also have a playlist on Word and Computer Fundamentals. So please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to make a video with your request. Thank you.